Hey friends, you are crafting with Kim Byers and today we are talking all about gift wrap. So we're going to talk about easy and inexpensive ways to wrap beautiful presents, beautiful gifts um, for holidays, birthdays, baby showers, whatever it is that you are giving gifts for. Um, I'm just going to show you some really fun and inexpensive ways to dress those up um, without spending a ton of money. So I have a big family and um, I was putting together some things the other day and Candidly, I was a little appalled at how much the ribbons were costing. Right now, everything's going up, but I was, you know, I didn't want to pay three and four dollars for a ribbon, um, and so this is what I did. And so this is what you can do to make your gifts beautiful without spending a ton more money. So today we're not going to use the Cricut. So if you craft with me ever, you know, we're always doing the Cricut. We're always using sublimation. Um, and you could use the Cricut for some of these ideas today, but you can also use just scissors, paper, glue, tape. Um, so let's hop over to the craft table and talk about some beautiful ways to DIY some gift wrap. Okay, so here we are on the craft table. We're going to start out with a very simple paper bow. And I love this idea because all you really need is scrapbook paper. And I would suggest a double-sided um, scrapbook paper. Or if you don't have time for all that or you don't have any on hand, this is just copy paper guys so this just goes in your printer but you can make adorable ribbons out of just paper and a pair of scissors um, i do have zots which are like little glue dots and i love these but if you don't just some tape that you can fold over if you have a paper trimmer yay that's fantastic that'll make this project so much easier but a pair of scissors tape and paper is truly all you need so to start, what we're going to do is we're going to take our scrapbook paper and I'm just going to use my paper trimmer and I am going to cut, you can do this in uh, one inch strips or I'm going to do this as a one and a half inch strip. Okay, I love the paper trimmer because it just makes everything perfect, right? And then if you want, it depends on which way you want your ribbon to face. So you can fold it over this way. So we're going to start and we'll go in like the fish's tail. We're gonna go back out and then come in a bit like a nose. We're gonna turn it around and just repeat that pattern on this side of the paper, making sure to come in and then go back out. So we look a lot like a fish. Now what we wanna do is we want to take our paper, we're gonna do a small slit and then we want to turn it over and do the same size slit in the same spot on the opposite side okay so now let's move this out of the way what we want to do is we want to connect those two using the slits see wow looks a little bit like a fish Okay, and then you take the nose of the fish and push it in and then ta-da! Now we'll take a tiny little glue dot. You probably can't even see it on my finger. We're going to put it on the inside of the bow and then push the nose of the fish down. Ta-da! Isn't that sweet? Look how cute that is and so easy. And okay, so see, this is our little copy paper bow, absolutely adorable. And then this is the one that we made out of the two, you know, sided um, cardstock, and they are both absolutely adorable. And you did not spend two, three, four dollars at the store for a bow. For gift wrap number two, we're going to use crepe paper. So I love crepe paper, it comes in beautiful colors, it's so inexpensive, and it goes on and on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some tape, crepe paper, we could have some embellishment on top if you want. Um, and so let's move everything out of the way real quick. I already have my um, gift wrapped, and so what we need to do now is layer our crepe paper. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a crepe paper that's pretty much the same color as my gift wrap. We're gonna start on the bottom. Let's take a little piece of tape and tape down one edge and then we're just going to wrap it around. Okay, and then we're going to trim that off. Let's turn it sideways. Another little piece of tape. Okay, and then we're gonna take our next color. So I'm gonna use yellow.
cleaned up our spot just a little bit. Now what we want to do is we want to take our scissors and we're just going to put them right underneath that bottom color and then we're going to snip. Okay, now you don't want to snip past the center. Just imagine there is a center line there and you don't want to go past that center. Flip it around and do the same thing on the opposite side, making sure that we're getting all three colors. Okay, so now that we have this, what we want to do is we just want to fluff it. Make sure that we're fluffing all three colors, kind of folding them in. So now you can see all the different colors through there. Cute, right? Okay, so last but not least, what we wanna do is we wanna take an embellishment and run that. You can either use the yellow, I think the yellow's really cute. So we can flip that over, see how long we need it to be. Run it to the middle of our gift. There we go, how cute. Okay, and so then we'll just attach that with tape on the back side. And then the, what I love about this and the little crepe paper, for one, it's inexpensive, um, but for another, you can take your cute little card and there's a great way to attach it, right? You can just shove it right underneath, stick it right underneath. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so while we're on crepe paper, let's do one more and let's make a tassel. And so what I wanna do is I wanna take um, our colors and I may um, use multiple colors for the tassel, but I just want one color to go around the body of the gift. I'm gonna cut this here, flip this over. So maybe even, I like to do things off center, not always in the middle. So how about we kind of move it toward the top and then we grab a piece of tape. So all we need for this one is our wrapped gift, our crepe paper, our tape, and our scissors. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna flip that back over. See how cute that is, I love stripes. You guys know I love polka dots and stripes, it's my thing. Okay, so now what we wanna do though is we want to take our crepe paper and we're gonna take uh, multiple colors and we are going to you know, unravel some and just put them together. Okay, so we have one side. Okay, so now we have the other end and I'm just going to cut them so they're exactly the same. Okay, so now that I have all three of these together and they're the right length, I'm gonna take a small piece of tape and I'm going to tape the ends so they don't get out of control, so I don't lose, lose control of these guys. So I'm just gonna put a piece of tape there and flip it over. Okay, and so I actually found my fringe scissors. So this is what they look like. So, but if you don't have fringe scissors, it's no big deal. Just use your normal scissors like we did before. But since I have them, I'm going to use them. And so what we wanna do is we want to, on one side only, cut the fringe. Okay, and we'll just go all the way down cutting the fringe. So now that we're at the end of the fringe, we've cut it all the way down, we're just gonna do the same thing and put a small piece of tape at that end, fold it over just to keep everything together. How cute is that, right? So now that we have this full length of fringe, what we wanna do is we want to start rolling it to create a pom-pom. So we're just going to Is that not super cute? I mean, seriously. You just keep rolling it and rolling it. And once you get it to the desired um, size, then you go ahead and fluff it. We'll just take a piece of tape and secure it down underneath, securing it to itself. And then we will attach it to our gift. Okay, so I just have a piece of tape doubled over or you could use the glue dots like we did before. Put down our tape and attach our pom-pom. Look how sweet that is. Oh my goodness, so cute. Okay, and I was looking at this and it looks so much like Easter. And so I added another piece of crepe and how cute is that? So it's like the cross and then you have your little pom-pom. What a 
pretty little Easter package. Okay, so one more with crepe paper before we move on to some other ideas. Um, crepe paper, again, just so inexpensive and beautiful colors, but this time we're gonna use crepe paper, we're gonna use three colors, and we're going to use a needle and cross stitch thread because you can find just an abundance of cross stitch thread, um, just beautiful and very inexpensive at your craft store. Um, and then we're going to use a craft wrapped gift. I love to use craft paper when I'm wrapping gifts because you can add any embellishment, any color to it and make it, you know, for whatever the occasion might be. So if you are only going to get one type of gift wrap paper, I would go with the craft wrap. Um, and then I'm just going to use a pair of scissors. So this one is really simple. So we're going to take each of the colors. I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and I am going to cut off a number of squares and we'll do this for each color. Now that we have all of these cut up, what we want to do is we want to make a pattern. So we're going to take yellow and then the blue and then the pink. We're going to stack them up and then we'll just keep repeating that process. Now that they're all stacked up, you just want to take your needle and your cross stitch thread and you're just going to run it through the center of your crepe paper. Pull it all the way through and then just keep stacking on as much you know as you need for your gift depending on how large your gift is and okay so now that you have all of those together and I have just added a small piece of um, my string crossways and now we're going to take this with our ribbon our crepe paper ribbon and we're going to attach it this way so we just want a very small piece of tape and what you can do is you can actually tape it down on the ends just put a little piece of tape on the end, making it taunt. And then that way it's not gonna shift on you. And then you can kind of fluff your bow. It's cute, oh my gosh, I love it. And then once you're done with that, you can go and trim off, you know, flip it over and trim off the excess. Oh gosh, I just think this is so sweet. And it's so cheap, guys, and it's so dang cute. Okay, so for our next gift wrap, we're going to use craft paper. Um, we're going to stick with a twine or a cross stitch thread. And then I cut out some just basic shapes with my Cricut. So I cut out these darling little stars, and I even did an initial for her name, and I've got some tape and a pair of scissors, but that's it. Nothing fancy, and you could even use, if you don't have a Cricut, you could use the little paper punches um, or candidly you could take a pair of scissors and cut out one good star or one good shape whatever that shape is and then use it as a template to cut out more okay so you just take your twine and take a small piece of tape okay and then we're going to attach the twine to the back of our box of our wrapped box and then we're just going to take that twine and go back and forth on our box and so when we get done we'll just add another little piece of tape and snip that off and then you'll just take something like these zots and your little stars and you'll put one of those on the back and then just start decorating your gift box and you can even put her initial there isn't that sweet next up is a darling gift bag it is so so cute but it could be better if we added a few embellishments to it. So I cut out a cute little tag, and this is just normal. I just searched gift tag on Cricut. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, you can do this with a pair of scissors. It's a simple, simple shape. Um, and then if you have a little hole punch, you could even punch a little hole in it. But this is something that you can just clip all of these things on to your gift bag. So what you wanna do is you wanna take some ribbon and a pair of scissors. So we're just going to take some ribbon and say cut off a few inches and we'll take some more ribbon, same deal, we're going to cut off. So then we can just take our ribbon and we're going to tuck it on the inside of our bag, bend that over. We can put a little clothes pin on this. And then you can even layer these. So you can do these a couple of different ways. We can insert the ribbon into there we go. We can earn, insert that into the tag and we can layer it. So we can take our clothespin and just tuck our ribbon in. Pull our name up. Isn't that sweet? And then once this is tucked inside, you can even take your scissors and maybe cut off 
a little bit of that length. There we go. So sweet and personalized and so easy. Okay, so I hope you loved those. I hope you found a few ideas that you can use on your gift wrap um, for baby showers, birthdays, for holidays. I mean, these ideas are truly universal, just changing up your color palette. Um, and I hope that you found some fun ideas in that. And I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and uh, ring that bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you guys next time.